A former maritime engineer who worked in the Pacific Islands says the Tongan ferry which sank last week shouldn't have been used for anything but scrap metal. His comments come after the author of a report on the Princess Ashika described it as a floating grave. John O'Hutchison has more. This is the Princess Ashika where she lies now, at the bottom of the sea. It's believed some of the bodies still missing are inside. Last night, the author of a report on the ferry told 3 News it was a floating grave. Retired engineer Sunir Raitava saw the vessel last year and he agrees. What he said was right because you can look straight away and there's a hole there. When they bought it, that ship was not supposed to be going. He says often in islands like Tonga, proper safety checks aren't carried out. It's like a car. Uh, registration, warrant, fitness, because they all come under the Ministry of Transport. Uh, this is one of the weakness in the island groups. He also believes at times vital repairs aren't done because they're too costly. No ships allow, uh, doesn't make money if the ship is lying, you know, staying on board. I remember one of my ship owners said we cannot afford to have the ship lying here for four or five days. Raitava says Tonga must catch up to Fiji, where safety measures are stricter after several marine disasters. Because of what they learned in the past, we have marine checkers. Uh, any ship goes, they have to be clear by marine checkers. But that's not the case in... Not the case in Tonga, otherwise they would have this problem. The company which operated the Princess Ashika has dismissed the report on the ferry as just a draft. Raitava disagrees, but he also says the captain should have refused to sail. Captain is, is going to take the lives. It's like driving of those people. The lives of those people lies with the captain. The Tongan government is defending the condition of the Princess Ashika, saying repairs were carried out before it was purchased. John O'Hutchison, 3 News.